Yes, I'm Zanzi. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Wednesday, of course. That means we're diving into the kitchen non-stop and giving you all the inspiration you need. Now, I'll be here coming through and they're challenging the stereotype by celebrating real. And that's reminding South Africans that bread is at the center of some of the most beautiful but simple everyday moments and even in the not-so-perfect times. So today, we're going to be showing you how we really like to throw it down in the kitchen. Now we've got Gabby here, we've got Ewan, and the plan is simple. The challenge is quite easy. <laughs> All you've got to do is make a perfect or maybe not so perfect sandwich, and you've got two minutes to do so, right? Now, these are some ingredients that we all should have. They're very common. Nothing out here is crazy. But I'm the judge. That's the crazy part. So you've got to make sure that you can somehow put together something that can take the crown for the day. How are you guys uh, feeling about this one? You ready? Yeah, I'm not ready Very because confident. I'm going up against a professional <laughs> chef here. Uh, can I get a head start? <laughs> Bro, you've been stepping it up in the kitchen and also you've been able to absorb all of this incredible experience. Yes. So hopefully you've been listening. You're yeah, right? but... <laughs> Go on. All right, so let's get straight into it. Your challenge starts in three... Two, one, let's go! <laughs> and while we're doing this, I'm going to be distracting you as much as I can, Kevin, but also the game plan is here because you definitely can multitask given all your experience. Friend, uh, I'm not going to you. I make sandwiches every single day. <laughs> I'm sorted. You cannot lose. I mean, it's... if I do this, it's embarrassing. <laughs> is, there, is there like a, a specific sort of a step process to making a good sandwich? There, like you've got to start off actually, with certain No, but there is. There is. Yeah. So the rule of thumb is everyone always thinks to know like your ham, lettuce, uh, lettuce, like cheese, all those things first. Yeah. But actually, the trick is to put your sauce, obviously your sauce is down Why first. are you so calm? She Again, I have to do this during lunchtime rush in Greenpoint. And, <laughs> um, and uh, then you actually put your crunchy stuff, like your salad stuff, on first. Oh, yeah. because you have a method. I've so is it like the, the main yeah. ingredient comes last? Or that comes in last. Oh. Because then you're like... Your sources. I don't know why I'm saying this while he's at my competition. I'm just like, and he's just listening anything. to everything you're saying and doing it. Right? At all. <laughs> and he's I'm one step ahead. You are definitely taking the lead here when it comes to who's going to be finishing on time. But the taste will really tell right now. And speaking of taste, let's do exactly that. Let's taste this and taste all the inspiration coming through from this meal because you can literally feel the freshness with Albany's diverse range of bread products. They're including white, brown, and the best of both. And then additionally, they also have a range of buns and rolls. And wrap. So, got you covered when it comes to preparing lunch, making a quick snack for yourself or the family, doesn't matter. This is something that you can definitely do. Now, guys, you want to know what time is left? There yep. is officially 30 seconds left right now. Time is ticking. Gabby has never been calmer in a challenge. I've never seen anyone more calm than this in a challenge. Ewan is absolutely frantic, but he's definitely putting something delicious together. So I would, also, I would also toast this as well. Ooh, was, okay. I'm going to try and imagine so both of these being toasted. Eight, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pew, 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 pew. You're yeah, the time to that. Stay. <laughs> I saw a drizzle it was of something, so something. Long to drizzle. It's like you like, missed the bread completely. <laughs> it was taking so long to drizzle. I was like, oh. come on. Oh, oh just guys, that. there's too much it's stress this time of the morning. <laughs> there's Bro, too much stress. You are made for this, you and I've seen you do, do, do incredible things in less time. So, two minutes. You've definitely both won this challenge firstly because you put together something lo that looks delicious, but yeah. the proof's got to be in the pudding, guys. I'm going to have to taste this one. So, you let me grab that one first. Okay, what have you got? A little bit of oozage. Ooh, the you. oozage. So let's just get that on the camera. Check out that. Okay, so I've got some mayo, I've got some sriracha, I've got some crispy onion. Ooh. I've got some, some cheese, I've got a little bit of honey, I've got some of this oh, rocket wow. as well. So it's just a, like a mix of it a does lot look of good. stuff. It does look Thank good. You. Like... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> <Was that? laughs> the crowd's going wild though, while I'm consuming this. I like that, bro. I like that you combine all A little all bit those. of the honey as well. Is it honey? enough, if, if, I, mm. I knew a guy that, that used to be like a long-distance runner, right? Yeah. And after a long run, he would eat a whole lot of eggs, but he would drizzle honey all over Ooh, it. Oh, that's quite interesting. Yeah, which I is quite interesting. Yeah, so so I, I figured I, maybe yeah. with the honey, it could bring out a different flavor profile. Bro, it definitely is. Out. I know. It definitely is doing that. I see Gabby also used some honey in there. So you yes. on, on, on master levels, bro. Yes. You definitely are. Oh, I'm leveling up here. the egg, though, smart, because you've got that easy yolk. Mm. <laughs> clever, clever. All right, Gabby, you are next. Uh, what was the strategy? What was the Okay, so I did this? like a double cheese vibe, and Ooh, I added the honey, though. because I wanted that to go with nicely with the brie. Added a bit of sriracha, rocket for the crunch, a little bit of the onion for the crunch, a little bit of mayo. 
that vibe. Oh, man. Oh, oh, I didn't get that response. <laughs> <laughs> no. The problem is they're both so good. Also mm. different, right? Because sometimes you're, like, in the mood for, like, bacon and eggs. And sometimes that's a, that's... You, you know what I mean? It's hard to the, judge. The problem here is that sandwiches. I love the double cheese. Yeah. No, the problem with Ewan's one is that I love how he's brought together that... The way your honey is mixed with the rest of whatever you put together. Mm -hmm. It's got a umami. Yeah. yeah. Guys, I'm sorry, but the winner today officially is Albany Bread. <laughs> I can't decide. For me, they are both absolutely incredible. <laughs> I think even for you, that means you, you're pretty much a winner going up against someone like I this. I mean, so. look, I was nervous going into this. Oh, eh? no, they're both amazing, I was really guys. nervous going into this. I think you both Thank took, you. The, took the cherry on the cake by adding the honey to it. It really is yeah. something different for me, and it works with this. Well done. It's got that freshness. Thank it's you. got that sweetness. Oh, this is what it's about. And uh, with these two winners here, I think I want to add more winners. And that's for you, and so you can stand the chance to also win. And that's 1,000 Rand in cash. I simply reply to the competition post, and uh, it's a question that we have on our Expresso Facebook X or Instagram pages. And you've got to tell us the following. Toasted or fresh from the packet? What's your favorite way to prep a sandwich? Mm -hmm. Good question, right? Come through with those answers, and don't forget, X entrance must share the post. And for all platforms, don't forget to include the hashtag MyPerfectAlbany. Now, this competition closes Friday at 10 a.m. And your T's and C's can be found at ExpressoShow.com. You know what I realized? I'm the winner because I get these. Cheers, guys. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll just dig into the ingredients. Yeah, I'm just going to cut myself some cheese now, actually, on that note. <laughs> Not every day may go your way, but we've got something perfect to lift your spirits right here on the Expresso Show. You can win 1,000 Rand weekly by going with Albany, the perfect bread in an imperfect world. First up, feel the freshness. Then enter on the Expresso socials and answer a very easy question using the hashtag MyPerfectAlbany in your answer. Competition closes the 8th of December. T's and C's apply.